Hey guys, I wanted to show you a new product that I've developed. It is a dog leash. Um, this is something that I developed about three years ago. I refer to this as a Tier 1 Citizen Control Leash. And uh, I developed this for our dog, which was a rather stout Black Lab, Bull Terrier, Dalmatian, and there's something else in there too, but he was a big fella. Um, and um, I had to put him down last July. He had uh, lymphoma and just really couldn't breathe anymore so I uh, put him down last year and um, I, 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 I never had a dog growing up so getting this dog was an, ama was an amazing experience for me because I didn't fully understand that dogs are people. Um, cats are a whole nother thing but dogs, my goodness, I, I have no doubt that on creation day God took Adam aside and said this is a dog this animal is something very special because I never got it until I had a dog and Spark was such an amazing dog. Uh, I had a level of communication and control over him where I could look at him and he would know what I wanted and my friend Zeke who actually trains his dogs in the Shu Tsun style um, when he saw me look at our dog no hand motions I simply looked at him and the dog backed up and sat down and then I looked in another direction. I didn't even move my head, I just looked in another direction and the dog moved there and, and Zeke goes, how did you do that? And I go, how did I do what? And he goes, you looked and he moved. <sighs> Sorry guys, the, uh, <sighs> I'll tell you, the last year without him has been kind of hard. This is going to be harder than I thought. Um, I made the original slitting about three years ago because I needed to find a way to control our dog when we were out for a walk. He loves squirrels and every time he would see a squirrel it always happened to be on the other side of the road and the sidewalk that's just over my left shoulder leads to the greenway in the town where we live. But to get there you have to walk about half a mile along the road and I needed to find a way to control him on this side of me because the road was over here. So I needed to find a leash that was short enough that gave me control over him. But as you know, the shorter the leash, the more jolt you get when the dog decides to take off on you. And it hit me one day, I already make rifle slings that have bungee in them. So why don't I make a dog leash that has bungee in it? And there were several iterations of this and I got down to this very short leash. And what I found was this length right here allowed me to grab his collar lift up the D-ring with my thumb, hook through, this is a Blue Force Gear HK hook, hook through the D-ring with my thumb, and as you know, the second you hook a dog, that's go time. So he would go, and I would open my hand, and the leash would do about that, and then he would immediately slam on his own brakes. That is what this leash will do for your dog. It will remind them to lay on the brakes and stay with you. And I kid you not, guys, this leash trained my dog to behave in an appropriate manner. It wasn't me yanking on him, the leash was putting his brakes on because every time he pulled it reminded him to back off. And so my wife has been telling me for months, honey, you need to get that sling on the website. And so I made this one yesterday and I made this one again today, or made this one today because I needed to make sure that the equation was identical and it is. Because uh, there are measurements to this and I honestly couldn't remember what all the measurements were but I kind of thought about it last night and remembered so anyways um, guys this is not the you know the stretchy long happy dog sling from Amazon okay that that, that twenty dollar crap is just um, this is made in the same manner with this from the same materials that my slings are made from so yeah the price tag is kind of high I get that um, there's a saying that goes I would rather explain I would rather explain the quality, how's that go? I would rather explain the quality versus cost than, than apologize for the lack of quality or something like that. I, I forget how that actually goes, but really there, there is, with all honesty, there is uh, an axiom that you guys have heard me quote before and it's, I got, it's a shaker axiom and it goes, let it be plain and simple, of good and substantial quality unembellished by any superfluities which had nothing to its goodness or durability. 
that's this sling. This sling is durable. This sling is small. Uh, that was the other criteria. I wanted a sling that was very, very small. So uh, when you get to somewhere where you don't need to be hooked in, you can just slip this into a pocket. Um, but you are immediately in control of your dog the second you hook in. Uh, the other thing was I made a very large loop for a reason. On a day where you're wearing gloves, it's cold, and you're wearing gloves, should your dog, God forbid, end up getting hung up by a car. For those that don't understand dog collars with the snap, that snap has a certain pound rating to it, and it will it's an emergency release buckle, and it will let go. Um, this is 4,000 pound webbing. This is not letting go, okay? So what I did was, when you hook into the dog, the collar is the, is the emergency release buckle. Should your dog get hung up, hung up and begun to be, begin to be pulled, you need to be able to get out of this quickly. So by doing this, folding your thumb in, you come out of the, out of the leash very quickly. That's why the loop is as big as it is. Um, the other thing is, if you want a little more control, you skin it back, you're hanging on to a fair amount of the webbing and the bungee, and it gives your dog less ability to pull away from you. And as they learn to control their own brakes, you give them a little bit more leeway. So the Tier 1 Citizen Control Leash is available at tier1citizen.com. I thank you guys for your support. Um, uh, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them below. As always, God bless you all. Get your dogs out and go for a walk. Have a good one.